the best managers are also great leaders. Dambisa Moyo is a distinguished macroeconomist and global affairs specialist. She sits on many global boards, including Chevron. She's also just joined the House of Lords in the UK. And so with so much expertise on leadership, I sat down with her at Bloomberg's London headquarters to talk about what managers and leaders can learn from this critical time. You're all tough on how to hire and fire CEOs and boards. I mean, <laughs> did you get a bit of uh, pushback from that? I think what's, what you're getting at is really the one of the three key pillars or, or, of the mandate of the boards, which are in many cases explicitly laid out uh, in, in the legalese. Three responsibilities. One is to provide oversight of strategy. Um, the second one, which you just touched on, is to hire and in some cases fire the CEO. Um, and, you know, obviously refreshing the board is a piece of that. And then the third piece, which is a much more recent responsibility, is really oversight on, on matters um, that I would say are important to stakeholders. You sit on the board of, of many companies, and one in particular, Chevron, is interesting, and their strap line is that they are the human energy company. Now, that's obviously a play on words because they're an energy company, but it also strikes me as being quite salient with the emphasis on human. Do you think that human resources and how we treat the people in organizations has risen up the agenda? I think in terms of the people talking about it, certainly has. Um, I think, again, if you look at the best organizations over history, uh, it's clear to me that there's always been an understanding that without good people in the right seats, motivated by the right uh, reasons, um, you're not going to get the best organizations. And this is true not just for corporations, it's true for public institutions uh, as well as third sector institutions such as NGOs. Do you think that <laughs> boards are sometimes a little bit um, myopic and unadventurous in the way they see the world and the challenges globally to their businesses? You know, I think um, the costs economic costs of finance, the way the market would respond to a myopic board, as well as the um, costs to the institution itself of being myopic are so big that uh, I think many companies, particularly again the best companies uh, in the world, I think uh, understand that that's, uh, it's not a viable long-term solution to be myopic. I mean, do you think that we need to rethink the roles on boards? Always. Um, I think the best institutions are, they recognize that it's not a status quo situation. You're constantly thinking about the, the exogenous factors that could affect your business. It could be a war, geopolitical changes, um, the economy. And those are things that, you know, boards but companies can't directly control. Um, but also endogenous things about processes. Um, thinking about compensation, thinking about hiring. Those are things that we have much more control, but there's so much learning constantly happening that can make us better at that. You need to make effort, a, a big effort, I would say, in making sure you stay current with, with some of the big issues that are affecting the world. What would you say to your 23-year-old self who began at the World Bank? <laughs> well, first of all, I would say I would, I would have spent much more time um, learning about human nature because I do think that there's a lot of learnings from history and from psychology about how humans behave under certain circumstances. Can you separate the role between the leader and the manager? You know, if it was just about, okay, well, here's a manager, then, you know, we might, we might really be campaigning for an automated system which tells you, hey, your sales were below this number, so you're fired kind of thing, and it, which, you know, which is a bit crude to put it that way, but I'm just saying it's not automated like that. The best managers are also great leaders because in order to get a team um, or to get people motivated to execute you know, on a tactical short-term goal, you still need them to be energized, you still need them to be motivated to follow the leader and to believe um, that the leader has the in best interests of the organization, but certainly uh, is caring about the uh, individual as well. <laughs>